One of the biggest roadblocks in life that I have seen is the fear of rejection. People literally don't go in a certain way that they really want to go in because they're afraid they're not good enough and others will reject them. And therefore, they never get up and even try. Or they try and they give up shortly because of that great roadblock that they place in their imagination. One of my favorite authors, and who I encourage you to read when you're feeling like you need additional faith, additional belief, is Og Mandino, O-G, M-A-N-D-I-N-O. Go and get some of his books, any of his books. He is different, and he'll inspire you. It's the kind of book that you can't put down. Here's what he said one time. Never allow anyone to rain on your parade, and thus cast a pail of gloom and defeat on your entire day. Remember that no talent, no self-denial, no brains, no character are required to set up in the fault-finding business. Nothing external can have any power over you unless you permit it. In 1 Chronicles 28, verse 20, it says, Be strong and brave and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged, because the Lord God, my God, is with you. God will not fail you or leave you. Now let's get back to talking about the fear of rejection and the fear of failure as roadblocks on the way to your happiness. When we try to please everyone, we set for ourselves a goal that is unsatisfying and unworthy of our efforts. Remember, my dear friend, your worth comes from God. Sure, there are a few people that you should seek to please in life, like your family, close friends, and the person that signs your paycheck. But trying to please Everyone is impossible, and it's not even what God expects, especially when it comes to choosing between people-pleasing and keeping the faith. Your top priority should be to please God, and then, even if others temporarily reject you, and they will, God will accept you, inspire you, reward you in ways that you can't even imagine getting you past all those seeming roadblocks in life.